Welcome back to Cashagories, your go-to channel for financial news, insights, and strategies. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been plaguing California for years, the homeless crisis. But there's a twist, Governor Gavin Newsom has finally decided to take action. Or has he? Is it genuine concern or just political maneuvering? Stick around to find out. California, the Golden State, has long been a symbol of opportunity and prosperity. Yet, in recent years, it's also become synonymous with a growing homeless crisis that's not only heartbreaking but also an economic nightmare. Since the onset of COVID-19, the situation has spiraled out of control, placing an unbearable strain on residents and businesses alike. And now, Governor Gavin Newsom is stepping in with a new policy to clear out homeless encampments. But why now? Let's break it down. To truly understand the economic impact of the homeless crisis on California, we need to look back to the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. With businesses shuttering their doors, unemployment rates skyrocketing, and eviction moratoriums coming and going, many Californians found themselves teetering on the edge of financial ruin. Homeowners have seen their property values plummet as homeless encampments have sprung up in neighborhoods across the state. This has not only affected their net worth but also their ability to sell their homes or refinance their mortgages. In some areas, property values have dropped by as much as 20%, leaving homeowners with less equity and fewer financial options. California's vibrant tourism industry, once a major revenue generator, has taken a massive hit. Cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles, known for their iconic landmarks, have seen a significant drop in tourist numbers due to safety concerns and the visual blight of homeless encampments. The decline in tourism has led to a decrease in revenue for local businesses, hotels, and restaurants, many of which were already struggling due to the pandemic. Thousands of businesses, both large and small, have packed up and left California, citing the unbearable financial strain. The increased cost of security, damage to property, and the loss of customers deterred by the homeless situation have all contributed to this mass exodus. High-profile companies like Oracle and Hewlett-Packard have moved their headquarters out of state, taking jobs and economic activity with them. Small businesses, the backbone of California's economy, have been hit the hardest. Many have closed their doors permanently, unable to cope with the combined pressures of the pandemic and the homeless crisis. The homeless crisis has also led to a surge in public health issues. With inadequate sanitation and health care, diseases have spread within encampments, sometimes spilling over into the general population. This has increased health care costs for the state and strained already overburdened medical facilities. Outbreaks of diseases like hepatitis A, tuberculosis, and COVID-19 have been reported in homeless populations, requiring significant public health interventions. The rise in homeless populations has coincided with an increase in crime rates in many areas. Businesses have had to invest in additional security measures, and residents no longer feel safe in their own neighborhoods. This has further contributed to the declining quality of life and economic instability. Petty theft, vandalism, and violent crimes have all increased, leading to higher insurance costs and further economic burden on businesses and residents. Governor Gavin Newsom's recent announcement to clear out homeless encampments might seem like a step in the right direction. But why now? Let's not forget that this crisis didn't develop overnight. It's been years in the making, and Newsom has had plenty of time to address it. So, what's changed? Could it be his close ties to Vice President Kamala Harris and her potential run for the White House? The timing is certainly suspicious. It seems like Newsom is more concerned with political optics than genuine concern for the people of California. After all, the homeless crisis has been wreaking havoc on the state's economy for years, and only now does he decide to act? Gavin Newsom and Kamala Harris have a long history together, both having served as influential political figures in California. Newsom's sudden interest in tackling the homeless crisis coincides suspiciously with the ramp-up to Harris' potential presidential campaign. Is Newsom hoping to bolster his political capital by aligning his actions with Harris' ambitions? The timing suggests that his motivations might be more about political gain than genuine concern for Californians. Newsom's recent announcements have been accompanied by significant media coverage, 
raising questions about whether this is a genuine effort to solve the problem or just a PR move. The governor has had ample opportunity to address the homeless crisis over the past years, but only now, with increased national attention, does he take decisive action. This raises doubts about his sincerity and commitment to resolving the issue. Under Newsom's leadership, California has implemented numerous policies that have arguably exacerbated the homeless situation and the financial woes of its residents. High taxes and stringent regulations have made it difficult for businesses to thrive. The cost of doing business in California is among the highest in the nation, driving companies and jobs out of the state. This has led to higher unemployment rates and, consequently, more people ending up on the streets. California's corporate tax rate is one of the highest in the country, making it less attractive for businesses to operate here. Additionally, complex regulatory requirements add to the cost and hassle of doing business. Despite efforts to increase affordable housing, the state's housing crisis has only worsened. Bureaucratic red tape and NIMBY, not in my backyard, attitudes have stalled many housing projects. Without enough affordable housing, the homeless population has continued to grow. In many cases, proposed affordable housing projects face fierce opposition from local residents, leading to delays and cancellations. This has left many people without the housing they need and contributed to the growing homeless population. California has spent billions on homelessness programs with little to show for it. Much of this money has been funneled into temporary solutions rather than addressing the root causes of homelessness. Meanwhile, other critical areas like mental health and addiction services remain underfunded. Instead of focusing on long-term solutions like permanent supportive housing and comprehensive mental health care, much of the funding has gone towards temporary shelters and short-term initiatives that do not address the underlying issues. Middle-class families in California have been hit hard by Newsom's policies. The high cost of living, combined with rising taxes and stagnant wages, has left many families struggling to make ends meet. Many families have been forced to move out of state in search of more affordable living conditions, further eroding the state's tax base and economic stability. Small businesses, which are crucial to the state's economy, have been disproportionately affected by the homeless crisis and Newsom's policies. The increased costs associated with security, property damage, and loss of customers have forced many small business owners to close their doors. Small businesses often lack the resources to absorb these additional costs, leading to closures and job losses that further exacerbate the economic challenges faced by the state. It's almost laughable how Governor Newsom has suddenly woken up to the homeless crisis. For years, Californians have been screaming for help, watching their neighborhoods deteriorate and their businesses crumble. And now, with Kamala Harris eyeing the White House, Newsom decides it's time to act. Coincidence? We think not. Imagine a firefighter showing up to a house that's been burning for hours, only to start spraying water just as the news cameras arrive. That's Gavin Newsom for you. His sudden interest in clearing out homeless encampments seems more like a PR stunt than a genuine effort to solve the problem. The timing of Newsom's actions raises serious questions about his motives. Is this a genuine effort to address the crisis or just a calculated move to gain political favor? For years, Newsom has been silent on the issue, only now deciding to act when the political stakes are high. It's hard not to see this as a transparent attempt to boost his political profile. Newsom's plan to clear out homeless encampments focuses on immediate, visible actions rather than addressing the root causes of the crisis. This approach may provide short-term relief but is unlikely to lead to lasting solutions. Without significant investment in affordable housing, mental health services, and addiction treatment, the homeless crisis will continue to plague California, regardless of Newsom's latest efforts. So, what can we do? As Californians, it's time to hold our leaders accountable. Demand transparency and results, not just empty promises and political posturing. Reach out to your local representatives and make your voice heard. And most importantly, stay informed and engaged. Join local community groups and organizations working to address homelessness. Your involvement can make a difference. Volunteer your time or donate to organizations that are making a real impact on homelessness and economic inequality. 
Contact your local and state representatives to demand better policies and funding for affordable housing, mental health services, and addiction treatment. Support candidates and initiatives that prioritize long-term solutions to homelessness and economic challenges. Keep up with the latest news and developments on homelessness and economic issues in California. Knowledge is power, and staying informed is the first step to making a difference. Share accurate and up-to-date information with your friends, family, and social networks to raise awareness and encourage action. Let's work together to ensure that California can once again be a beacon of opportunity and prosperity, not a cautionary tale of political gamesmanship and economic decline. Thanks for tuning in to Categories. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And share this video with your friends and family to spread the word. Together, we can make a difference. See you next time.